Welcome back to uh, GotWire. Today I have here the Flex 2.5 gig PoE, and then I also have its AC 210 watt power adapter. And if you look at the boxes here, the power adapter is like twice the size of the switch. It's kind of funny. But the Flex 2.5 gig PoE is 199 MSRP. It has eight 2.5 gig PoE++ out ports. And if you power it with the 210 watt power adapter, you get 196 watts PoE available with the switch. So we'll get the switch unboxed here. The switch has eight PoE++ uh, out ports, and then you can either feed it in with a, this is a 10 gig, PoE++ plus plus plus, uh, port, or you can feed it uh, with a SFP plus, either DAC cable or fiber, whatever you want to use that's SFP plus. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be powering it with the power adapter that we'll unbox here in a minute. You get the little level um, bracket to help you mark the holes so you can mount the bracket if you want to mount it to the wall. And then you get some screws and some drywall anchors. Next, we'll get the AC power adapter here unboxed. The chonky power adapter. And if you look here, the power adapter is almost as big as the switch is. So the power adapter comes with the power cord that plugs into the end here. And then it also comes with a wall bracket so you can mount it to the wall. And then it has the barrel plug that you plug into the front here to power the switch. And that's how I'm gonna be powering mine is with the power adapter because the PoE++ on Ubiquiti's website, there's I think like two switches that can do PoE++ and they're expensive as heck. And I didn't wanna pay that. The power adapter is just cheaper. That way I get the full power out of the switch and I don't have to spend $800 on a switch that does PoE++ from Ubiquity. And if you're powering it with PoE+, or PoE++, or PoE++, uh, it puts out different wattages for these eight ports. PoE++ is 76 watts of available power. PoE++ is 46 watts available power. And PoE++ is only 16 watts available power. And if you're using the power, brick like me it says it's 210 watt power brick you get 196 watts of available power from these ports so i'm gonna get this plugged up here and do some testing with it well i get it all plugged up here i got the power supply plugged into the front and then i have my sop plus connection here feeding 10 gigs into the switch and then port one this ethernet cable here goes to my laptop that has a 2.5 gig to usb-c adapter technically it's 5 gig to usb-c adapter but it'll do the speed that these ethernet ports are putting out I turn the power off on this port i'm not powering anything with it but and theoretically you'll you could use the other seven ports to power cam cameras, access points, whatever you wanted the power. But I'll switch it over here to my laptop and I'll show you it in the Unify software and do a couple speed tests. Get it all adopted. I use a Cloud Key Gen 2, so I plugged it up. And as long as it's on the same network, uh, whatever Unify controller software or device you have, it should find it. I clicked on adopt and now you can see all the ports, see what how much power you're using. I'm using zero of 196 watt. And what I did was I went to port manager and I turned off power for one and two. So I don't think you have to do it, but when I plug up my laptop, that way it's not sending power to my ethernet port. So I just clicked on off right here. And then when you click on off, you hit apply changes in the bottom right. Uh, here it is on Ubiquity's website. It's $199, like I said, MSRP. And here's the different power options that you have depending on how you feed it with power. I went ahead and bought the, like I said, the power adapter here that is $80. The AC adapter, 210 watts. So if you buy the power adapter, you're gonna have to tack on $80 to it. This is uh, my remote server in the data center. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it. I'll try to link it up here in the corner. Uh, after you watch this one, go watch that one. It's a real good video. And then this right here, uh, 192.168.4.4 is my local Unraid machine. So open speed test is kind of like iPerf, but easier. You don't have to do anything in command prompt. You just install it on your machine, in my case, uh, Unraid. And once you install it, you just go to the IP address and then colon 3000. Uh, I set up my offsite backup to colon 9001. So we'll run a speed test here. 
So 932 download and 781 upload isn't too bad. So next we'll run one here to my Unraid machine here on my local network. And this should be about 2.5 gigabit per second or pretty close. And we got 2400 megabits per second on the download and 1700 megabits per second on the upload. That's pretty close to 2.5 gigabit per second on the download. The upload, I think it's just my Sabrinth uh, USB to Ethernet adapter. It fluctuates on the upload. But if you want a switch that does 2.5 gigabit per second, it looks like this switch will easily do it. So all in all, this Flex 2.5 gig PoE switch, I really like it. The only bad thing that sucks about it is the power adapter. Uh, if you want to get the full PoE power out of it, you have to spend an extra $80 on the power adapter. But you could just buy this and feed it with PoE Plus or PoE Plus Plus. I don't think you're going to be feeding it with PoE Plus 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 unless you want to spend $800 or whatever it is for Ubiquiti's other two switches that put out that PoE power. But if you're just looking for a 2.5 gig PoE switch you want to power some cameras or access points with, this is a really good switch. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.